Hey everybody, welcome back to the Long Dark. My name is Bear. We found the Carter Hydro Dam last time we were here. Our cold is actually all the way to the bottom, which is interesting. We uh, took a quick nap here. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon now. And uh, we're in pretty decent shape. I've got a lot of meat in the sack. Ha! <laughs> Phrasing. Um, but we do need to cook a whole bunch of it, so I need to be able to build a fire somewhere. There's a fire barrel inside of this place, but I think I'm probably better off going outdoors, trying to find somewhere else, maybe another uh, cabin or something like that. Maybe find a stove therein, and uh, then probably spend a little bit of time harvesting for wood, and then, or not harvesting, foraging for wood, rather, and then uh, getting back into the house and uh, cooking up a whole bunch of stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and take the last bit of meat from this as well. I might as well do so. I mean, the more meat we have, the better. That's just a, that's just completely universally accepted, right? That whole idea? We can go with that. Yeah, I'm going to keep following the railway, though, because I know that this way is kind of a dead end as far as the railroad is concerned. Oh, there's a bridge here. That's fun. Train bridge. Hold on a second, then. Maybe, uh, I just tried to jump. Man, I'm so used to being able to do that in my everyday life. There is a river here. Actually, you know what? I might be curious enough. I might be curious enough to follow the river instead of the railroad. That seems like it could be a very interesting uh, path to discovery. Plus there's the train bridge here as well. I wonder if you can take shelter underneath here and be a little bit safer. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head over this way and really hope that I don't like end up breaking through the ice or something. <laughs> it almost does sound like that's something you can do. It's just like randomly find one weak patch of ice and... Just totally collapse through and die. That would be terrible. This is actually kind of horrifying now that I put the idea in my head. I'm really kind of concerned. In fact, I kind of just don't want to walk on the ice anymore. <laughs> I was also kind of hoping I'd find like some kind of secret tunnel past the dam over there, but fortunately is not the case. Alright, so. Following the river now. That's a slightly different approach. If I could figure out which direction I'm going in, actually, that would probably be pretty helpful, considering... Okay, so we're going toward the sunset at the moment, which means we are heading west. Ooh, there is a deer here. Don't have... Oh, I thought I had the gun still. Damn, okay, well... I've got a lot of meat anyway, I'll just let him be. Or you can just walk right past me, I guess that's a... <laughs> that's a maneuver as well. Little birdies? I wonder if you can shoot down a bird. I would totally be interested in trying that. Hello, frozen corpse. Let's see what we've got here. You look like a tiny, but tiny no man. This anymore. You are a small person. Like a inflatable doll. That's, that's gross. Right, do I want to go up that way or do I want to keep trying to follow the river? I think I'm going to keep trying to uh, head over in this direction. Are we freezing at the moment? We are. Okay, so well, we're not at this point freezing. Northern access to the river. Hmm. Again, I'm starting to get a little paranoid about this whole walking across the frozen water thing, so... Maybe want to try to avoid doing that. Northern access to the river. Okay, well, it looks like my only option here is to continue walking along this, so I guess I'll keep doing it. We could go up here, though. You know what? That's probably a better idea. I am genuinely paranoid now that falling through the ice is totally something that could happen in this game, so... I'm gonna avoid doing that. I should probably go ahead and have something to eat. Oh, no, it looks like I'm going to have to go back down, actually. Yeah. All right, well, I think I can manage to make that work. Let's go ahead and head back down this way. Let's grab a quick bite, actually. Yeah, I need to uh, have some of this cooked wolf meat, give myself the calories necessary to trek onward. Really need to be keeping an eye out for any kind of shelter, too, obviously. Want to stop by somewhere. Utilize a stove or a potential location for a campfire. I gotta be very careful about how I decide to drop down here. There we go. That worked out pretty well. Maybe I should move a little slower, actually. That's... Alright, that's kinda easing my tension a little bit. This still feels like a terrible idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, well... The moving slower thing is just making me a lot more anxious. <laughs> I don't know if I like this plan anymore. I'm just gonna keep moving. Oh boy, yeah, we don't have any kind of escape right now. We're straight up just walking on the river. Oh boy. I'm not finding anything. I, I can't wait until we see just like a 
a big hole in the surface and there's a frozen corpse, like, clinging to life. Yep, that's gonna happen. Alright. Get off the water at any point we possibly can. That is very interesting. Reeds coming up through the frozen ice. Alright, here we go. We've reached kind of an inlet, I guess. Let's see if there's anything at all in this area. Not really looking like it. Huh. Damn. Well, we gotta keep moving. We're not quite... Uh, it's actually not even that cold today, so... We should be alright. Oh, whoops. That was not what I intended to do at all. I think we're... I think we're gonna be okay to go for quite a little while here. It's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so... Not too concerned that, uh, wolf meat actually did wonders for our hunger. We certainly could go for a drink or two, but... Thirst is never really a huge issue, in my opinion. Thirst you can easily take care of, so... Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Don't want to get up to that guy. Let's cross this way. And I imagine what we can do is just go up and around. See if we can just very quickly... And very sneakily... Make our way up here. There we go. I think we can avoid that wolf. I'm not sure he spotted us. I'm pretty sure he didn't. What do we have over here? Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Little cabins! This is exactly what we were looking for, I think. Let's find that wolf before we go anywhere. I don't think he's gonna be around here anymore. Oh, careful, careful, don't fall down. Don't fall down, we're good. Alright, where'd he go? I wanna get to that... It's like an ice fishing shack or something like that. It's gotta be what we found here, right? Wonder if that's a possibility. Ice fishing, that would be fun. Well, okay, I guess that's not really... Kids these days, the, the idea of ice fishing probably doesn't excite them to the degree that it once did in 1805, but, you know. Wait a minute, is that the, that's got to be the office, right? The camp office over there, which means we've been around this area before. And the railroad was over there. Hmm. So we're kind of uh, connecting the places here. Hello, yes, this is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> I'm a genius. All right, scrap metal's not bad. Let's see. Keep on searching. I don't think I necessarily want to make a fire here. I think I'm just going to qu try to quickly look through this place for resources. But, uh, ooh, beef jerky, nice. Ooh, an antibiotics as well, very good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and duck out of this one quite early because I saw a couple more down this way. And I, ooh, yeah, definitely want to check this out over here. Let's keep going. Look at all those little shacks. There's got to be a lot of stuff over this way. Hopefully one of them is actually sealed off from the outside, and that will be that way we'll be able to uh, find a safe shelter for the evening. Go ahead and look inside of this one as well. Ooh, yeah, there's that half-buried-in-the-snow top of the lake frozen corpse we were looking for earlier. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to find. Alright, anything of value? Orange soda. Who loves orange soda? Bear loves orange soda. That'll come in handy. Grape soda's okay, too. Is it true? Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess. Hmm? That was a... half-assed butchered Keenan and Kel quote for you. Hope you enjoyed. Wow, look at that. Whoa, man. We have found ourselves like a little community over here. Holy cow. I'm more curious about these ones than I am about this big shack over yonder. Actually, I think they're about the same size. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Run, 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 go, go, run away. Run, 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 I will please be sealed off. Lake cabins, yes. Protect me. Protect me, I don't want to deal with him. Okay. We can open this up, right? Yes? Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, well, there's a wolf outside. That sucks. <laughs> Oh man, I hope there's a place to build a fire in here, otherwise we are not in a good spot. And there's not. Oh shit. Okay, well. Hmm. Ooh, flare though. And some more beef jerky. Very good. Well, damn it. I don't know if he's gonna still be out there. I wonder if you can hear him if you, like, press your ear up against the door. Nothing. Hmm. Is this something down here? Is this just a little... Nah, it's nothing. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a gamble on this. I'll probably be able to fend him off if he's nearby again. There he is. Okay, he got he got bored. He was probably waiting for me for a little while, but... We outsmarted the beast. 
by way of running like a coward. Perfect. Alright, another cabin. It's probably gonna be a wolf in one of these cabins. That's just bound to happen. More reclaimed wood is good. Wood is good. That's just... That's just what I want you guys to take away from this. Newsprint roll as well. A metal container. Not a lot of places to start a fire or anything like that in these cabins, unfortunately. But a lot of beef jerky, which is good. Very good food option. Alright, nothing else of much value. We can sleep in here if I really wanted to. I'm gonna take a quick drink, actually. Grab a couple of these sodas and... ...make use of the trip we've had over in this direction. Alright, so... I think it's time we head over to the other side of the lake. Hope that one of these places has, uh... ...the potential to start a fire. Although it doesn't really look like we're gonna be... ...having a lot of luck in that regard. Kinda crappy, honestly. Please have a fireplace. One of these places, because we've gotta have some kind of fire pit. There's a newsprint roll, which is very good. Huh. Yeah, not a lot in this one either. Ooh, a tinder plug. Actually, you know what we can do is harvest that and uh, get a few extra kindling as a result, which is very good. Sewing kit is awesome as well. Yeah, we'll probably harvest that tinder plug at some point. I can't really afford to waste any time right now. Getting close to being exhausted, which is going to stop us from moving uh, at our optimal rate, so I'm probably just going to want to try to sprint over in this direction. Get over to these cabins really quickly. And uh, what I'll probably do is go back into the uh, into the ice fishing dens, try to start a fire in there, do, do the cooking inside of those things, and then make my way back over to a lake cabin and uh, just take shelter in there. A backpack and a corpse here. Man, so many corpses. Cotton long underwear, that could be nice. Lantern fuel, okay, small bottle of kerosene. Another grape soda as well, not bad, not bad. You know what? I'm actually starting to think I probably ought to take advantage of the, uh... ...of the stoves that I know exist, although I could just start a fire outside of the cabin here as well. That's a totally viable option, too. Yeah, I'll probably want to do that, so let's just, uh... ...we'll start a little fire right here, and then we'll just spend a whole bunch of time tonight... ...building up... ...or, uh, making up a whole bunch of cooked food, and then... ...utilizing our... Oh, hey, we're gonna probably have to use an accelerant here. Actually, do I want to try to... I probably want to try to forage for some wood first. Let's do that. Let's spend an hour foraging for wood. Or let's do two, actually. Why not? I think we can afford this time. Hopefully not going to find a wolf in our immediate vicinity at this point. Okay, freezing, starving, and tired. We're going to go ahead and uh, have this other cooked wolf meat we had available. Condition is kind of rapidly deteriorating right now, unfortunately. So I do need to... Uh, Get this fire going right now. Got some, uh, cedar firewood, which is actually really solid. I'm probably just gonna use the accelerant to try to get this fire started here, though. There we go, nice and quick. There we go. Now we can add some cedar firewood to this and get it roaring and blazing. There we go, alright. Time to cook up this venison. It's actually going bad. I'm really glad we got to do this right now. Alright, so. A full evening of cooking venison. We're slowly taking away that freezing condition. We should start to see this tick back up. Slowly but surely. I believe it's going in the order of the condition of the meat here as well, so that's good for me. Let's just check real fast to make sure that's the case. It is indeed. Alright, so that's good. Still tons of meat to cook. I might actually put in all the firewood that we managed to forage just now. Whoa. That was an interesting sound. That's kind of ominous. Oh, okay, it's just me. We're good. We're fine. Everything's okay. Oh, boy, but that, that kind of stuff will trip you out a little bit, man. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, eat some of this cooked meat real fast. We think we probably need to have another drink as well. Yeah, the thirst is still an issue. Grab some orange soda. Okay, now, I think I can spend the rest of the night before... Uh, before nightfall is upon us, which is probably going to be pretty damn soon here. Might be able to throw in one more log for the fire. Alright, we are exhausted now, though. I think I can spend... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. Nightfall is upon us. I'm going to try to cook up the rest of this meat. Just keep on going. 
We're encumbered, we're exhausted, the condition is slowly going down. I still think I can afford the time spent here, though. We've only got five more to cook. 69%, perfect. Oh, it's getting pretty damn late, though. I still think I can afford to do this. Maybe one more. I don't think I'll be able to finish this one. I'm gonna try, though. Oh, it's gonna be real close. Oh, not quite. Okay, we gotta get inside. Time to get inside, right now. Where's the door? There it is. Nice. Oh, boy. Alright, pitch black cabin. I should just be able to find a bed. I'm pretty sure we're safe in here. I kind of want to light a flare to be sure, but... It's a pretty small cabin. I'm pretty sure if there's anything dangerous, it would have already taken place, so... We'll go ahead and sleep here. Get a nice, full night's rest. Ten hours of sleep. Burning them calories, but we will be good to go for the coming day. This is really nice. I think we found a pretty good situ uh, situation here. Of course, it would be ideal to have a hunting rifle as well to be able to uh, replenish our supply of meats, but I think we'll still be okay. Ready to die. Oh, he's dehydrated. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on, hold on. We'll take care of that, buddy. No problem, no problem. We got water purification tablets. We don't have that much to drink, actually. We should probably spend a bit more time here. Uh, if I can make up one more fire, I will, uh... I will utilize that to get a whole bunch of water here. I don't know how much room we have left in the inventory. I think we're okay. Yeah, we got a little bit of space, actually. We got plenty. So, let's go ahead and drink this. And we can use the water purification tablets, actually. So if we get ourselves a big old supply of, uh... Big old supply of unboiled water. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We should probably go ahead and eat these things before they, uh... Before they become completely useless as well. Our hunger is dipping way down. Yeah, I think it's about time we prioritized our, uh... Our lack of thirst-quenching options here, so... Let's see. Sounds like there's a storm brewing out there, though. That's no good. Ooh, pork and beans. Nice. I think I have a can opener, too. Okay, well, what we can do actually right now is we can check out these other cabins that are right adjacent to us. Oh, there is no storm. A little bit of a storm, okay, so. Yeah, probably not, probably not incredibly wise to spend a lot of time outside at the moment. Is there a wolf in here? Dude, there's got to be a wolf like right next to us outside. Oh, shit, that's not good. That's not good at all. I do not want to go back out there. My condition is not high enough to be able to deal with a wolf at the moment. Oh, goodness. Tell you what, if I uh, drink this Summit Soda we just found, or the orange soda, rather. If I take a quick nap, I know I don't need to at all, but I might be able to uh, send the wolf away. Let's go out here real quick. Let's just check to make sure he's not, like, right next to us. Okay. They're just baby steps. He could be right here. I have a feeling he's on the back end of the cabin. Where are you, buddy? I don't see him. Not up in the trees. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're safe. That was a weird little howl there. I have no idea why that happened. <laughs> thought maybe he was in this cabin too, but luckily not the case. Fur firewood, obviously very, very good to find. Uh, anything else? Ooh, another grape soda. Excellent. Good, good, good. All right, anything else? Not a lot of value to be found in these cabins, unfortunately, but they are warm beds inside the uh, inside a safe structure, so that's good. Let's keep moving. I think we're gonna have to just try our luck elsewhere here. So we were heading That's west. Gonna make it. Wait, did he say something optimistic? I think he was optimistic there for a second. Listen to this guy go. Oh, we can't get anything from that, unfortunately. This is good, actually. It, it helps us to know where we've been before, so that's nice. Oh, and cedar firewood and some newsprint as well. Very good. I have no idea how I passed that up before. Okay, so, where is the sun? It's currently 8.52 in the morning. I should be able to see it off in the uh, east somewhere. If I can find that, I'll be sure to know I'm going in the right direction. 
the right direction being the direction I did not come from, so very much like to find it. I think it was over there. Because we came from there, for sure. That's the direction we were coming from. I just want to make sure we're continuing to progress a certain way. I think I might want to try to climb this. Although it's not really looking like that's going to be uh, particularly viable. How cold am I? Wow, yeah, this is... Uh, hmm. Can I improve this at all? Not really. Am I not wearing pants? I might not be wearing pants. Hold on a second. Where are these? Oh, no, I'm wearing cargo pants. Okay, yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> Why don't you come out here not wearing any pants, man? That is just asking for trouble. All right, it should be a little warmer now. It's getting to be about morning time. Maybe the sun just hasn't come up enough. That could be the case. Huh. Okay, well, it's not really looking like I can go in this direction too much further. Mystery Lake. Is that what this is called? Western access to Mystery Lake. Unless it's over here. Hello. What might we be finding in this direction? Mystery Lake, perhaps? This looks promising. I'm going to keep heading over here. Huh. Still very, very cold at the moment. Yeah, that is starting to become a serious problem really fast. My condition hasn't really, uh... Improved too much either. Oh, we got a fork in the road here. I'm gonna go this way. See what we can find. I've been over in this area before, I feel like, because this is where I, uh. This is kind of the path I took to get to the camp office, which. Now that I think about it, maybe I should just go head over to the camp office, because that's a pretty good place to, uh. To find some resources to make up some more food and such. I probably need to spend a bit more time improving my ability to, uh. Get warmer out in the on the cold, desolate unknown here. Hello, though. What have we found? This is like a little, uh, little cave. And somebody tried to call home here, and that here. did not work out too well, apparently. Um, shoot. Some wood matches as well. All right, yeah, this is not anywhere I'd like to stay. Is it a little warmer in here? It's not. Wow. That sucks. Well, that maybe. This would be sheltered enough to make a difference, but I guess not. Dave's Quiet Clearing. That's what this is called? Wow. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna try to climb here. Ooh, that was close. That was actually kind of a dangerous play. Alright, I guess we're not gonna try to climb here. Lost 1% condition there, unfortunately, too. Shoot. Alright, I think we might need to make a run for the camp office here. It is far too cold out today to be able to move too much. This is not a good situation. I'm trying to, uh, boost my speed a Damn, little bit. Cheesing the game. Walking downhill a whole bunch. Alright, so this is the, uh, other side of the fork in the road here. Found Dave's Quiet Clearing. That was fun. What might we find in this direction, though? Let's go, buddy. Come on. Keep God on trucking. Freezing. I know. We're gonna fix it, I promise. I promise you, pal, we'll find something. Find a cave, a cabin. We'll find a complete roundabout circle that'll take us back to where we were. Right? Yep. <laughs> oh, wait, no, hang on. Is this the... It's the camp office, isn't it? It must be. Yes! Oh, there's another door here. That's interesting. Cool. All right. We did indeed find our way back to the camp office. Lots of reclaimed wood in here as well as some more tinder. Newsprint roll. Very good. Looks like this has been here a while. Wool socks is going to help us out as well. Oh my goodness, yes. I am really glad we found our way back here. This is a first aid kit we can certainly search through. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Bandages, lovely. And antiseptic. Excellent. More antiseptic here as well. Some more accelerants. Definitely want to take those. Very good, very good, very good. Alright, we need to probably start up a fire in here. I don't even know. Okay, it is warm enough to be able to cool us, or, uh, warm us up without the fireplace. But, of course, we still need to cook some more, uh, still need to cook some more meat as well as getting ourselves a bit of boiled water to solve the thirst issue. But for now, just warming up, searching through the place for goodies. 
finding whatever we can possibly utilize in this area. Let's go ahead and head upstairs now. Very good, very good. Oh man, I'm glad we ended up back here, man. Well, at least we know how to, how to get around that area. Not sure if I missed out on something. There was like a mystery lake or something like that that it was talking about. Lots of shoes in here. I was curious about the mystery. There is a mystery afoot. Some painkillers and covered as well. Alright. That'll do. More goodies. Even more newsprint. Excellent. Alright, y'all. I think it's about time here. We're going to take a quick nap and we're going to warm up a little bit. Take inventory of our situation when we arise again in the camp office. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Long Dark. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I appreciate that a lot. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.